Hello, gentlemen, and welcome back to yet another episode of Gentleman Masterclass. I am your host, Mr. Mark Antimate, and in today's episode, I want to share something with you guys. Sitting in front of me, I have two brand new pairs of shoes that cost me uh, just a little bit over about 150 USD, and they are both from the same brand. Now, the name of this brand is called Sperry which was founded in 1935 by Paul Sperry of the same name with Sperry being the family name of course and uh, I believe the story goes this guy was on the deck of his boat one day and uh, of his sailboat and he was kind of slipping and sliding all around the place because uh, the bottom of his soles of his shoes didn't have any traction to it so he looked at Uh, I can't remember whether it was his dog, maybe it was his dog, and uh, he saw his dog running around inside the snow and on ice, and he wanted to know why his dog wasn't slipping and sliding around, Uh, thinking back to his time on the boat, and he looked at the dog's paw and saw that it had some little uh, micro type of friction and traction on there so that the dog could hang on well to the ice or the snow or whatever it was that he was running on and uh, keep its balance so he said I want to design some some uh, shoes like this that are made specifically to be used on the decks of boats so that when they're wet you don't slip and slide and all he did was just make a sole with just I guess some traction running through the bottom of the sole so this guy Paul Sperry had made the first boat shoe and not only that but I found out about this brand vicariously through a childhood hero of mine, Mr. Rogers, who would always wear these shoes inside of his uh, show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. This is Fred Rogers that we're talking about here. And Fred Rogers, at the beginning of every episode, had like a routine that when children watched him, uh, they would know what it is like to have a positive routine and just kind of just reinforce something subliminally inside of the minds of children. He wanted them to see something that, um, he wanted them to see what, what, I guess, discipline in a lack of better words is like. I mean, (laughs) is it discipline to put on shoes? But to do it inside of this TV show for however many episodes that this show aired for and every single episode at the very beginning do the same routine it does take a little bit of discipline uh, to present the show the same to add a familiarity to children to give them something that they can be comfortable with and just him being a childhood hero of mine and see him wear the the casual the smart casual clothes that he did and be the nice humble human being that he is I think every one of us good-hearted people we want to be Mr. Rogers in some sort of way or fashion he's an inspiration to us so I gotta be honest with you I bought these I heard of these shoes because of Mr. Rogers I knew that he put them on and for that reason alone just something inside of my mind clicked I want to buy these shoes because not only did he look yeah okay that was pretty much it he looked good in these shoes so i thought you know why not i want to look good in these shoes too i want to have a smart casual look aside from the look that you guys normally see me in and uh these shoes are going to be a nice companion piece to that so these are the ones that i'm going to open up inside this episode i believe these shoes are called the sperry cvo and i forget what CVO stands for I guess you guys could just go ahead and google it or if I find out as I'm editing this video I'm just going to throw a little title around the bottom of the screen to let you guys know what that means Um, but it's called the Sperry CVO Topsider and this is a sneaker this is when he got off from work meaning Fred Rogers in Mr. Rogers neighborhood he would come in with his work shoes on his his leather shoes I guess he was a white collar he could have been blue collar I don't know but he would sit down and he would switch out into these Sperry sneakers. So I got the sneakers right here in essentially the exact same color. 
and the second pair of Sperry shoes that I bought, which are inside this box. I will unbox them inside the next episode. These ones are just uh, a little bit more dressier than a sneaker. They're made out of leather. They are boat shoes. Uh, when you say the word boat shoes and you have an image of a boat shoe inside of your mind, this is what it's going to be. Uh, it's essentially this shoe that I have inside this box. So I bought some brown leather boat shoes, which are here. But let's go ahead and unbox these Mr. Rogers CVO sneakers. I ordered these off the internet here in Japan. They were sold through a shop called Beams, which is a nice Japanese shop that imports clothes mainly from the USA, but it could be from other regions of the world. And they resell it inside their shop new. I mean, it's, it's a retail shop, but they... You could think of Beams as like curators of clothing. So they find what fits their image and they would go out and they would buy these clothes. And I guess for whatever season that they were selling these shoes, uh, they did a partnership with Sperry and started selling Sperry shoes. And the, these shoes are... Sperry specifications made by Sperry and everything. The only thing that is different is when you look at the insoles of the shoe, it's going to say something along the lines of Beams times Sperry so that you guys know what it is. So because I ordered these off the internet, it's a box within a box. But it came inside of a Beams box, which is nice. So we just go ahead and get that out of the way. All right, so this is the box right here that I would like to show you guys. It says Sperry Top Sider, the original boat shoe since 1935. So that would make this uh, along the lines of 87 years old. Okay. This one says Cloud CVO Suede Navy. It's a shoe that is made out of suede, a sneaker. And I bought mine in US size 10. And these ones, if you bought them brand new from Beams, it would be 9,500 in Japanese yen because I bought these in Japan and with the tax, it would be 10,450 Japanese yen. Let's go ahead and open up the top. These are wrapped in a Sperry newspaper that has some Sperry advertising here, which is quite nice, very vintage looking, 1930s, 1940s. Yeah, I like that a whole lot. And here we go right here, getting ready to pull out the shoes for the first time. They do come with extra laces, but they have the white laces attached with navy blue laces also on the inside. So that's quite nice. I like that a lot. Uh, these shoes hit Japan shores 2020, June 22nd. That date is stamped on the inside and I guess uh, nobody sold them. So these ended up on the gray market on a Japanese eBay equivalent called Mercari. So I bought this from the Mercari website. This is the first time I ever used this website to order anything. All right, so there's a little story on the inside of the top of the box here that I would like to share with you guys. It says the original boat shoe since 1935. The world's first boat shoe was invented in 1935 by Paul Sperry a sailor who was looking for a solution to the leather-soled shoes that all boaters wore on slippery decks. Inspired by his dog Prince's ability to run nimbly over the ice and snow without slipping, he used a pen knife to carve cuts into a rubber outsole that mimicked the grooves of his dog's paws, creating his patented razor-sipping sole. The shoes proved so effective that in 1939 they earned a place as one of the official shoes of the U.S. Navy and the official footwear of the casual uniform of the United States Naval Academy. 
Today, the cloud collection pays homage to the innovative spirit of our founder. So that's what it says there. Let's go ahead and put this top back on this box so I could put the shoes here. These, I said again, they came with the extra laces, both in navy blue and in white, which is the white is already on the shoe. And these are the Mr. Rogers navy blue color. And this is the Mr. Rogers shoe. The bottom has a thick white sole. When you mostly see skateboard shoes like Vans in uh, DC Shoe Company, generally that type of style of shoe was taken from this shoe right here as the inspiration with this nice thick sole to it, this nice thick flat sole. So you flip it around to the bottom, you got all these little grooves cut inside of here in a zigzag shape going all the way from one side to the other. And they're in rows that go all the way to the very end of the shoe. So I like that, uh, nice and clean. These shoes have never been worn before. I'm glad I got them off the internet and I did in fact get them for a price cheaper than retail, which I'm super ecstatic about and in the size and the color that I wanted. So everything was just absolutely perfect with these shoes. Uh, they got this all mixed up here. I hope I can get the navy blue shoe strings off of here without getting this all tangled up because, wow, I can't believe that they would tie the strings together like this. I don't want them to get knotted, but I gotta be careful about how I take them off. All right, yes, the navy blue shoestrings look very, very nice, but I'm gonna leave it with the white as that's what I'm used to. And it comes with, I guess, a second pair of white shoelaces. So ultimately you have, wow, look at that. You have three shoelaces inside of here one on the shoe and an extra one of the same color white plus the navy blue i didn't know that that makes me very happy let me take this off and show to you guys so there you go right there you have your white shoelaces that are already on the shoes an extra pair of white shoelaces right here and then you got your navy blue so very happy about that and on the back of the shoe, whereas on something like Keds, you would see a little Keds logo back there. You may see Adidas or whatever for, or uh, Vans for some other type of shoe company. But uh, for mine specifically, it says Sperry Topsider and it has a sailboat as the logo and a, and a little cloud logo that is, has all this stuff enshrined inside of a cloud. But Go ahead, take a look at those shoes. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to put these on. In fact, let me put on one right now. Obviously, you guys won't be able to see me put these on inside of this episode because the camera's just out of range, but I'm just gonna put them on, let you know that they fit. Well, how did I know that they fit? I tried them on inside of a shoe store first before going out and ordering them off of the internet. Look at that, they fit perfectly. I can't believe I got my leg up that high, but yeah, absolutely amazing. They feel good, they feel good. They look absolutely amazing on my feet and I cannot wait to wear this with a pair of khakis, a light colored pair of khakis or my navy blue slacks they even look good with the black slacks that i have on now that uh came with my suit jacket so of course if i want to go out casual i just switch out this hat for my kangol hat but you know i would go ahead and put on my suit jacket and the matching slacks and put on this pair of shoes with them and i think it's going to look absolutely amazing that's going to be about as smart casual as you can go Wow, these shoes look absolutely amazing. I'll be sure to go outside and take some photos or and or some video of myself wearing these. But uh, deeply look into getting a pair of these shoes for yourself. You're absolutely going to love them. 
if a gentleman needs some casual sneakers, these are it, man. This is it right here. All right, gentlemen, I would like to thank you all for watching today's episode of Gentleman Masterclass. Salute to you wherever you may be out inside the world. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. And until next time, keep it classy.